So you're all standing on the deck of the Joyful Damnation, getting ready to uh, to ship out, as it were, to the curse hole. I'm going to say you've had a long rest. Hey! Because <laughs> look, <laughs> I don't I don't want to insinuate that anybody here is dragging their feet about setting off for the curse hole. I don't want to. I, I wouldn't want to put it into your heads that anyone is is. Egbert's still asleep. These sails are entirely the wrong color. <laughs> We're traveling. We're going to have to get rid of them. I start to pull down all the sails. Oh. oh. Why are you doing that? Says Hamadal, whose head is clearly pounding. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't be seen on the high seas with last season sails, I say. It'll never do. We were the laughing stock. What color, what color should they be? I get everything last season sails. <laughs> rich, rich purple. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you can have inspiration for that one. <laughs> <laughs> right out the gate. Say again. It's a good pun. It's a good, it's a good pun. pun. Solid. Seaworthy. Mm-hmm. Hey. What color do they have to be, Corazon? I don't know. I've lost track of this bit now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pressed a digit. No way. That I can't Is it press a digit for anything. I prefer the January sales. Oh. <laughs> well, don't no. push your luck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> um, can I? Can I just quickly scamper up the mainmast and paint oh. a snazzy pattern on the sails? Absolutely. What kind of uh, snazzy pattern are you going to paint on there? What does Dob think is snazzy? Tie dye. Tie dye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to need bleach. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, oh. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. Have to, like, stone. Wash. It's stonewash. <laughs> stonewash sails. Yes. Dex acrobatics check, please. Okay. I'm kind of picturing you like swinging across the deck, kind of with just, a, like throwing. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Jackson Pollock. Exactly. That's uh, how how he used to operate. Eight. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. It actually looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, it looks good. Eight, but it's stonewash. Right. Okay. It's a timeless. You style. St- um, everyone on deck, make me a deck saving throw, please. Oh, oh. oh no! Okay. Am I using real stones? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Are you looking to be a fifteen? Thirteen. I failed to beat. A 15. I failed to beat it also. A nine. Seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Hamadal. Rolls of five. You stonewashed the entire crew. No. Oh. Everyone is stonewashed now. Cool. Oh, my wall okay. of <laughs> All right. Is it Canadian tuxedo? Yeah. Yep. Right. Well, now I mean, we're in double dead for your curse all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. We're going to have to put the ship into dry dock for several months, <laughs> I'm afraid. To run the repairs. Corazon, it's, on, it's like you don't want to go to the curse hole. What so do you want to go to the curse hole? Be honest. As it, it's bad in there. I don't know if I've explained this. <laughs> it's this a, a really bad idea. Curse. It's a horrible what, curse hole. What could be wrong with that? There's all Do sorts you... of traps and monsters. There's other horrible things. Are we going to the curse hole? Yeah. I've been imagining. It's a cursed hole. A hole. Yeah, it's cursed. So yeah. we don't have to we have to go we don't have to go in the hole, do we? We just have to like, I don't know, throw something in it. Like a Oh, we can well. pour boiling water into it and then Like an ant's nest. Like an ant's nest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's like it's a it's an aquatic cave, but you to get to the cave you have to you have to traverse the many trials of the curse hole. Oh, I don't like the sound of you should have told us that. Yeah. I did! I Several times. Well, I was no, up, I was I up in the rigging. I don't think anyone was listening. A cursed hole. And you yeah. were like, oh, last season sales. So wait, well. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cave. Corazon. It's a cave. Yes. Is, it, is it underwater? It's not underwater. It's not underwater. Well then, okay. just near some water. It's near water. You got to park. Right. You got to park up. You got to traverse stuff. We traverse stuff all traps. the time. Horrible traps. We're always navigating Deadly terrains. Traps. Same. We, simply just you just disarm them, and then at the end of it, you get cursed. Well, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. What we're cursing is a is a giraffe and all the all, <laughs> all the animals of the forest. Well, I'm I'm going to I suppose I'll get cursed. So oh, I can that's stay right. You've got the hammer doll. And to... I'm going to scoop up lots of them, and then I'm just going to sort of give them out to my creatures so they don't die. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's going to be the yeah. immortal custodian of the the reserve. It's going to be great. I'm going to curse Denise. Uh, who will uh, work as my assistant for all time also. I wouldn't sure recommend that. that. Why? Surely, with an eternity of scathing performance reviews, I can <laughs> get her to be a satisfactory employee for once. I, that always works. I owe it to her. Uh, I think. I think. Um, Someone help me make this ship go. I'm bored. <laughs> uh, I stop coming on ropes. Make me a wisdom perception check, please. Oh, okay. So you're all going to go to this curse or whether I come with you or not. What you're saying. Uh, Sounds like a plan. Well, we, we need, need you. Corazon. That is a mere five <laughs> of your dice points. Okay. You do you you notice 
Uh, nothing. Nothing is wrong. For a few here. seconds, you just phase out oh, entirely. That's good. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm just Glad randomly pulling good. on ropes and yep. tugging on things. And yeah, Corazon, that's, I think the, we that's all... the rope for the dinner bell. <laughs> 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 ding, 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 ding. We all understand your reluctance. The curse all sounds scary, and of course, it was a place where something really bad happened to you and your crew. I swing yeah. through the back of Shot on <laughs> <laughs> Corazon's eyes drift to that. I'm like, no, Corazon, here. But, like, think of panniers and all that. Do it. This is something that's. You want to lift the curse off of them, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. so where are we going to go? The curse hole. Yay! The curse hole. Yay! But we, we really do need to get rid of all this stonewash. Because <laughs> if any of the other pirates see me out at sea. Oh, yeah. Can I yeah, this, this stuff. Some cool... this stuff? It doesn't come out. Can you, well, can you yes. prestidigitate again? And he goes cool... more in. I didn't do prestidigitation. I did stonewashing. An artisanal craft. <laughs> stonewash is like a, an eighth level spell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stone or black st again? Stone wish. Stone. I use my wish spell. <laughs> all black. Power word, stone wish. Squid ink. <laughs> can, we, can we have some squid ink? And just... Some squid ink on the sails. Oh, black, black sails. sails. That's, cool. <gasps> That's so cool. Yeah? Do you want yeah. to just express some ink onto these sails? Okay, yeah, I turn into a giant octopus and I sort of like climb up onto the sails and I just go in the middle of them. Okay, that yeah. horny crew member NPC who I've forgotten the name of kind of like sticks his head out the hatch to watch. She's just like... <laughs> oh. And he goes back in. <laughs> just you remember that guy? Just keep. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought we established just, that we were like. I slide a barrel over the oh. hatch. <laughs> <laughs> then forget I said anything. Yeah, yeah. I think we'd established a friend zone there. <laughs> we both friend zoned yeah, each other. Yeah, he's outside the friend fine. zone, looking in. <laughs> um, uh, anyway. Friend zone of truth. Uh, where's my, where's my, that would be a more useful spell. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, yeah, so, um, sorry, you're, you're turning all the sails black? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you altering the, the, the garb of your crewmates as well? Um, yeah, if I can get some of that ink. So we're all in black. Black, yeah. Like cool. double, cool. double denim in black is like is easier to pull off than like a yeah. proper. Canadian. I'm not wearing yeah. denim. I've never oh. worn denim. Oh, okay, fair. <laughs> well, I mean, the well, spell is a very it. powerful spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard wearing and comfortable, so yeah. maybe get on board. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. I'll do all the things that make the boat go. Okay, right. The, the, <laughs> boat, start, the boat starts to go. Um, and um, Corazon, yeah, you, you sort of watching the, the compass next to you in the binnacle um, and kind of like turning the, the ship's wheel. It's, there's like, you know when you do something solely by muscle memory mm -hmm. and normally it's satisfying when you're like, wow, my movements are so like, Precise and conserved, and I feel like a, I feel like like I'm so cool, like uh, I'm so well practiced at this. All you feel is like dread, like your mm. hands remember. You almost don't need to look at the um, the set of the sails or the position of the sun or or the compass or anything. It's like the You're, opposite of muscle memory, in that I'm actively working against the instinct to steer towards the cursor. Exactly, but these 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 old sea hands know which way is the curse hole. Um, you even feel like a slight like thrumming in your chest. Mm. You're not sure whether that's just sort of adrenaline building up behind your sternum or whether it's the coin that you keep around your neck. Soon enough, the Joyful Damnation starts to kind of like, like starts to sort of peak and trough with the waves and make steady headway. And uh, as you go, you hear a mournful note cry out from the ocean, sort of like a... Oh, good. And he is here. <laughs> Followed by a, <laughs> and like, it's amazing the kind of things you get used to in the life of an adventurer. You sort of just watch a, a an immortal pirate creature. It's kind of like poof, come out of the blowhole of a whale, and um, you sort of, you know what? Let's see if he makes it. Tries <laughs> to grab hold of uh, uh, a line and. <laughs> That's another five. Is oh. this die cursed? He misses the line and just panniers, just <laughs> like crumps into the deck. Mm. In fact, I'm going to say he lands on one of the hatches. Mm -hmm. So when he comes up, it's like he's been sleeping on a waffle jumper. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, but they're really big. Oh. Like he's got like indentations, like in a nice like grid pattern. He goes, panniers. Oh, hello. Guess who's going to die? Uh. <laughs> At last. Wait. Uh, finally. Is that how it works? Well, well, I, what's I mean, the curse is transferred, right? Well, it won't kill me. 
but next time yeah, but you'll die. Be yeah, yeah. You'll probably die next time you do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. No, that would have been yeah, life ending injuries. Yeah. You're gonna have to be more careful. The new skin's forward. looking yes. good. I shout. Oh, thank you. Yes, it took a while to regrow. Nice uh, regrow job. Thanks. I only just finished it. In fact, I was going to wait for a little while longer before coming and finding you, Kara's hut. But well, I've been uneasy of late. I've not been sleeping well. Is it because you sleep inside a, inside a whale? Well, no. Have you ever slept inside a whale? You sleep like a baby. Oh, right. <laughs> wow, it must be bad then. <laughs> I mean, if, like it must be bad if you're not <laughs> sleeping like a... Whatever. You sleep like a baby that sleeps well. <laughs> right. No regressions here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Only soft walls. Right. No waking up every two hours screaming. Then. No. Right, got it. Just the occasional wash of krill <laughs> over ye. But soon enough it becomes soothing. But, um, you know, Corazon, you've been handling that there coin around your neck an unusual amount lately. Mm -hmm. Seems like you can't sleep, which keeps me up, you know. Mm. I've you know they like call literal baby, waking uh, up every two hours and screaming. I know. Ooh. My dreams have been disturbed of late. And so I thought, I well, I'll come and see my friend Corazon and see what the matter is, because if I had to put money on it, the, the, the curse is going to be lifted soon, which frankly would ease my marital troubles. No small amount. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I I couldn't be dissuaded from this course of action, Panniers. I decided it was the right thing to do to return the so treasure so that, so that you and <laughs> all the rest of the crew could finally find peace. That's kind. That's kind. Curly He's, Joe. He's kind. Jack Craxon. Jack Craxon. Um, leather armor Theodore. Uh, yeah. Ah, leather armor Theodore. <laughs> what a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, just doing the right thing as I often do. Like how so. far? How far is it to the curse hole? How? How many? Are we like? Are we nearly there? <laughs> are, we, are we nearly there yet? <laughs> Let me rephrase my question: Is are we nearly there yet? Tis a long and arduous journey. Batteries died on my game board. Oh, Why God. not play I Spy? <laughs> <laughs> I would say, in nautical terms, it's one poignant conversation and a short montage away oh. by sea. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a poignant conversation then. Okay, What's you first. <laughs> no, I have them all the time. <laughs> Someone else do one. Oh. Someone right. else do a feeling. I want to know what it's like to be immortal, Panias. What's so bad about being yeah. immortal? It sounds, sounds good on the face of it. You uh, get to live forever. Well, let's just say... Immortality, if it were just that, pure immortality, yeah. I'm sure it would be great, but this is a curse we're talking about. So the creature that's cursed me, it still has uh, something of a hold over my um, soul, you might call it. Okay. And uh, my lovely, my partner here, this, this is the whale, kind of, <laughs> is, um, well, getting a little long in the tooth, Bailey, I should say, and uh, well, we've been talking about Oh, what's going to happen when, when the whale eventually goes and I'm just existing forever and frankly it, um, whales are peevish let's just say that my my beloved is not taking it lightly that I might not pass away roughly around the same time huh have you considered cursing your whale well, I'd never do such a thing it is a terrible gnawing curse. Mm. It is not a fun thing at all not something what's, you'd what's wish on any animal speak on person. that <laughs> speak on the gnawing <laughs> Well, I mean, sure, I sleep like a baby inside the whale, but not everyone has a whale to sleep inside okay. of, like a contented baby. So it's somewhat <laughs> uncomfortable. Aye. And you outlive all your lovers. Yes. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, well, I wasn't expecting this line of questioning. You said something about a creature? What creature? I've never heard of a creature in relation to this curse before. Well, <sighs> yeah, there's a creature. You saw a creature? Oh, you didn't tell me about the creature there, Big? Corazon. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really see, see the creature. There was a lot going on. Sorry. <laughs> I'd say there was a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. Didn't yeah. see the creature. Is that it? I was, I was just securing our escape route from ah. the curse hole. Ah. So um, you but merely glimpsed it over your shoulder then. I mean, I didn't. Glimpsed is is generous. I sort of heard more heard. <laughs> I'm pulling more your leg, Tarzan. You know, we've long settled 
uh, our differences between us, we're on the same side now. Until, obviously, the two years comes up and I'm compelled to try and kill you again. <laughs> sure. Where are we on that? By the way, hmm? where are we on that? Oh. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. We'll probably have this whole thing tied up before I try it again. Oh, good. Okay. But to answer your question, Miss Prudence, it's more... The curse is its own thing. It has its own momentum. And were it your garden variety curse of just, I'm going to outlive all of my lovers and I'm never going to die. Sure, I'd be delighted too, but let's just say it has a director. It has something that can aim it, just like a cannon. And it has ill intentions. And it doesn't care about me. And it doesn't care about Jack Craxon. It doesn't care about Curly Joe. It just cares about... Leather Armour Steve? Theodore. Okay. Theodore, whatever his name was. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Doesn't even care about I'm, him. I'm either. not even sure it knows about whether I'm a Theodore <laughs> these <What>? days. <laughs> it cares about vengeance. It cares about having its horde be whole again. And uh, uh, let's just say it's real mean spirited. Huh. Mm. I thought you'd get on just fine. Why, Corazon, mm -hmm. if it's not an indelicate question? And I suppose also a question to you, Paddy, is <laughs> why did you go to the Curse Hole in the first place? Treasure. Treasure. Was right. it called the Treasure Hole at the time? <laughs> oh, why did you go to the Curse Hole? <laughs> why, the why, why did he go to the huge <laughs> treasure? Ding, 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 it was ding, called ding, the Treasure ding, Hole. I don't understand why money's great. <laughs> Before okay. we called it the Curse Hole, we called it the Treasure Hole. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. No one knew it was cursed when we went in to get the treasure. Right. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gone in. Cool. Wow. A lot of heat you're bringing to this conversation. Not super jazzed about going in a second time. It seemed, like, it just seemed like it was an awful decision as well. So, yeah. Okay. Well, yes, we realized that yeah, now. It would have been an awful decision if we'd walked into a place called the Curse Hole, which I remind you is what we're doing right now. Dog. Yes, yes. To aim this mysterious creature's cannon-like curse vengeance, <laughs> vengeance. at a giraffe, <laughs> etc. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not. S the plan isn't to like end the curse. The plan is to redirect the curse into some wildlife selectively, and also this guy, and I gesture at Hamadal. Mm. Hamadal well, Panias, by the way. Panias, we will end Hamadal. the curse Hello. on you folks, and then they will <laughs> re-establish the curse on a giraffe or something. I'm wait, not entirely sure. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're going to the curse hole, not just to lift the curse from the crew, you'd have to sell, but to you'd then have immediately me. extract it again and pour it into this old man and what is a giraffe? I don't, I don't know. It's like a You'll also the long, neck. Oh, yeah. yeah. long neck horse. <laughs> this seems like a very bad idea. That's I'm what in. I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> Great, brilliant. All right, Panias is on your side. Cool. Yay. Well, uh, let's do this. Should we get there quicker? Do you want a tow? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, please. Um, lower the whale rope. <laughs> <laughs> is that a harpoon or? No. no. Oh, right, okay, good. I put away the harpoon. <laughs> Don't tempt me, Floto. I know it's more like a big yoke, and like if you imagine like, a like yeah. yeah, it's like it's like a bit for a horse. But oh, just imagine oh. like this whale's like gonk, and it's like Bruh. I think it's um, canonically it's a it's a humpback whale we've got, so it's still mm. pretty big, mm. still pretty scary. Horrible. But <laughs> it, it adds like a good ten knots to the to the speed. Oh great. It's like, well, that's the poignant conversation out of the way. In a short montage, we shall arrive. Mm. Yeah. How does everyone spend their montage time? Sleeping and eating. I'll be on the Lido deck. <laughs> Playing shuffleboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I still an octopus at this point? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna break into the captain's cabin and try and put up another hammock while he's busy playing. <laughs> Not this again. Captain's <laughs> cabin A or B. Hang on. Yeah, I thought it was like a part of the big the big emotional sacrifice that everyone can use the, the captain's toilet so you can oh, get yeah. in the cabin anyway. Yeah, yeah. but I don't want a hammock in the toilet. <laughs> Why not? No, but oh, to get in. It's I an ensuite. Get in. Oh, yeah. ensuite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, going to put a hammock in, and, in the captain's cabin. Yeah. And I, I go give uh, Percy Jr. some scritches. Okay. Percy Jr. looks like, looks at your outfit it's like, I know, I know, Percy. I'd like to write a nice letter to Suzette. Yeah, because I couldn't ink myself. Life. I'm still oh. stonewashed. Yeah. No. Yeah, Percy, I'm going to say, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Percy Jr., you go to, like, scratch him, and he's like, <laughs> like oh. really cagey for quite a long time. Eventually he gets there, but, yeah. like, you know when, like, an animal's just, like, a bit aloof? They're like, yeah. <laughs> that. Could, could you not? Marilyn is heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, write yeah. a letter to long, letter to, long letter to Suzette in the event of my death. 
Bummer. Cool. All right. <laughs> it's a it's a sensible thing to no, do. No, I know. Oh, I sorry. I, I no, 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 no. Caper no. around. <laughs> no, I, make everyone martinis. I'm sorry. I said it was a bummer. No? I'm sorry. No, <laughs> that's that fine. is that is smart. Can we know what you write in it, or only if you die? Only if I only if I die, of okay. course. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Better kill dogs. Not doing dramatic <laughs> readings of my yeah. death letter. Put it in a little yeah. baggie and swallow it, and then we'll have right. to cut is it. Is there out a captain's yeah. library on yeah. this ship? Yeah. Is it full of like nonsense adventure pamphlets about Corazon? Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of there are books on magic. Curses. And curses okay, and I take like Frisky in the Darkness, who have had so little attention for so mm. long, and I take them to the library and, and let them roam around while I research some curses. Mm. Okie dokie. Uh, make me an arcana check, please. You can have this at intelligence because you have two uh, sentient occult books who yeah. are going to help you sniff Sniffing out the good out stuff. Sniffing out the good stuff. Oh, that's a one. Oh, oh. oh. You've got, you've got like advantage. trash today. Roll it again. Roll it again. You've got advantage. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, that is, um, it's an arcana roll, you said? Yes. Well, I do have proficiency, uh -huh. so that is a 12. Okay, um, it, the stuff you get is sort of uh, tantalizingly vague. Um, it is sort of stuff about how, um, you know, some things are cursed magically, um, and there's sort of the ins and outs of, of that, like how to do things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, you, you reckon that you could have a pretty good go at cursing things now if you wanted to. Mm, why not? Yeah. Cool, nice. Um, curse, of, curse of my own. Yeah. Um, you think you understand sort of the basics of how to, how to curse things, mm. but um, there is sort of, it's a very vague passage uh, that does have like lots of like marginalia and like bits of it are underlined about how sometimes uh, very strong uh, emotions or lots of activity around a place can attract certain beings from other realms that are, say, drawn to great shows of greed or anger or, like, uh, want and attraction, for example. I see. And uh, these things can... It kind of it, a lot of it rings true of what uh, Pania said about like this thing being a director for the curse, effectively. Um, so it seems like whatever is in that curse hole was drawn there by just the sheer sense of avarice surrounding that place, sure. which, in fairness, implies that the treasure hoard was was pretty dope. So <laughs> you're like, okay, f you know, may, maybe I, I mean it's up to you how how you how Prudence processes this, but it's like. It is understandable that Corazon and the crew were willing to go through mm. the trials of the curse hole. A, not realizing it was cursed, but B, because apparently that's a whole lot of treasure. Do I recognize the handwriting in the margins? Is it Corazon's? Mm. Yeah. It yeah. is? Yeah. yeah, good. Okay. okay. All right, fine. Yeah. Just wanted to double check before I was like, yep. Corazon's been studying this, but <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Well, good montage, everybody. <laughs> How'd I do a shuffleboard? <laughs> oh, uh, make me a, uh, just a dex check, please. Uh, that's an 18 plus 4, 22. 17. Uh, you, uh, panniers cannot match you. Yes. Like, <laughs> 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 you just push okay. it. The push that's is. where panniers is going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was doing the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Curly's Curly down on the fourth day. Uh, <laughs> Why is it called Curly Jack? Or whatever his name was. Curly, Curly Joe. Joe. Curly, Curly Joe. Joe. Like, I can't remember the names of any of these pirates. <laughs> you know my name, don't you, Egbert? Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I always set myself up to be hurt. Oh. <laughs> anyway, curse hole, <laughs> ho. <laughs> okay. um, Pally sort of says curse hole, ho, and kind of like the gestures, um, but it's kind of an empty, uh, it's not an empty gesture, but like the, the island isn't really that visible so far. It's more that the whale has started to slow down. Mm. You know how like when you're on uh, the London Underground and you know the stop's coming up because the train starts decelerating and you're like, here's my stop. Yeah. Um, it's that. You're just like, oh, we must be nearing the curse hole because the whale is is slowing down. Um, and sure enough, yeah, in time, as you kind of all come uh, to the to the front of the ship and look out over over the bowsprit, uh, you do see, um, well, Corridon, it's, it's an island very familiar to you. Mm -hmm. um, it looks quite curse holy, everybody, <laughs> is what I'm saying. It's a small island. Um, 
and around it, uh, in the shallows, you can see lots of masts and things of, of shipwrecks that have just been left there. Um, and basically, from from far away, it looks like quite a lush island. There's sort of an expansive beach, and then there's lots of like lovely, you know, green uh, like foliage. There's sort of a mangrove on one side, like it's all gorgeous. And then towards the inside, it is like somebody has dropped some ink into a cup of water because all of the vegetation is just shriveled and blackened and whole, but just like, it's like, it's had the life sucked from it. Huh. Um, and then sort of in the middle, there's sort of just like a mound, um, sort of like if a halfling lived in a, a little hill with a, with a round door, remove the door and make it bloody awful. <laughs> <laughs> that is sort of the entrance to the curse hole from which an atmospheric smoke is just kind of rising. So is the curse tendrils. hole the bit on the beach? You is it in go the in, mangroves? You gotta go into the... The heart of the that island. That bit? Yeah, and that's not it. I mean, once you get in there, that's when it, that's when the fun starts. It will be a while. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Hey, this is this is what you wanted, right? I say passively, aggressively. Hey, I wrote, I wrote a letter to my next of kin. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> my affairs are in order. <laughs> my affairs are in order. Can you say the same? Fine. I said we drop anchor out here and take a rowboat in. I don't want to get the ship any closer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Are you leaving your death letter on the ship, or are you bringing it with us? No, bring it with me. Yeah, but then how is? What if you die? Yeah, won't we recover? What if you're destroyed? <laughs> What, well, if you're, what if you're fully destroyed? You're asking a question that is a question about all death letters. Yes. Like, yeah. I yes. didn't invent this. Yes. Everyone who has a death letter on their person, their body might be mm. exploded or something, yes. and then the letter is also you, destroyed. Sometimes you put the letter somewhere else. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Merowyn? Read my death letter once we're off the boat. <laughs> so. Get all my death secrets. Get all my death secrets. <laughs> no way. Find out where the gold is. Don't okay, so. fine. No. No, I'll keep it, I'll keep it you know. In a, in a wax seal. I feel like we're focusing a lot on my death letter. I want to know what's in it. People are going to think it's foreshadowing. <laughs> Sorry. Now I I'll narratively stop. have to die. <laughs> right. I'll stop obsessing about the uh, death letter. <laughs> it's, in, it's in a little, little oil skin wrap. So it's okay. waterproofed. Okay. okay. And it's just... Okay. <laughs> Ooh, could I... I have a couple of pieces of correspondence I'd like to add to that packet if, if, oh, to, if I don't make it. Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah. Right. I've written two letters to Denise. Yes. Uh, one of them is a P45. <laughs> <laughs> And the other one, yep. just in case she doesn't understand that, is a pink slip. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, For yeah. your car. Add them in. <laughs> Raising right. the pinks, Denise. <laughs> I'll add them in and stitch up the oil skin. There we go. Seal. The third one is just a piece of paper that says you're fired. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, I unstitch it. Sorry. That's fine. Any more for any more? I'm going to live. I stitch it up. <laughs> well, this is very exciting. Let's go make my venture a success. Mm. And also uh, lift a dreadful curse on these poor fellows or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wins. Okay, Corazon, after you. What do you mean after me? Why me? You've been here before, haven't you? Well, I'll show you where it is. Shall we list the reasons? Yeah, I got You've it. been here before. Mm -hmm. It's the pirate curse hole that is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the curse. <laughs> fine, fine. Right, fine. Everyone in the boat. Come here, come here. Have courage, my friend. <laughs> he sort of reaches out to sort of put his hands on your shoulders. Mm, We're just here to, I take to the run, finish Andy. what's been started. <laughs> no, no, wait. Oh, ah, oh, 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 what? What? It's, it's, oh, it's getting to you. Oh, bad hands. <laughs> okay. All right. I knew this would happen. The curse is it's affecting Panniers. The closer we get to the curse hole. Yeah, Everyone keep an eye on Panniers. He's going to try and kill me. Dingus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Or maybe keep an eye on old panniers, hey? Yeah, maybe keep everyone keep an eye on panniers. <laughs> should we, Sorry. Should we bind panniers' hands? Sure, I'm game. That'll make it easier to go through all the traps. I'm functionally immortal, actually. So, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, let's tie, tie panniers' It'll make hands. It'll you feel better. All right. Cuff him. Okay. Yeah, use a bit of hemp and rope. Just want to tie panniers' hands behind. Stop him strangling oh, me. Behind, behind, the, behind the back, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Is that yeah. comfortable? Uh, yeah, it's fine. That worse? Right. Do you remember the time I got flayed by yeah. acid? Oh, and the acid. Mm. Yeah. That was bad. That was bad. Mm. But what I was trying to say before I tried to choke it to death mm. is let's finish this together. I'm proud of the steps that you've made to try and put this right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Listen, hey, look, falling in love with a whale, it teaches you things. 
Bye, Ben. Right. Oh. <laughs> about, uh, uh, living at incredible sea pressures. <laughs> <laughs> but also about perspective on relationships and mm. doing the right thing and putting your pride to one side. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, he's going to try and headbutt you. <laughs> a nine. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, it's a fifteen. Nine. Okay, he uh, he goes like, Whoa! and just sort of like <laughs> just hits the deck in front of him. And goes ah, oh, sorry. Mm. Oh. This is going to get worse the closer we we get to the hole, everyone. So just yeah. Okay. Head on a swivel for Panniers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But Panniers is only trying to kill Corazon, right? Just to yeah, keep you distant. Which I, which no, which nobody wants. <clears throat> He's only trying to kill Corazon. <laughs> yes, so, he's only trying to kill me. But well, we should get a move on in case the other crew turn up. Oh, the yeah. One, oh, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, they'll have felt the, the, the oh, I can't sleep medallion. T- yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't see that. Um, they'll, they'll have felt it the same as me. So they'll be on the way. Correct. Right. Okay. No. Into the curse hole. Everyone into the rowboat. Let's, let's get to the shore. Should we all do that thing where we pretend we don't have dark vision to ease Corazon? What's Shame. dark vision? <laughs> <laughs> I produce flame. Oh, so dark in this cave. We've got to get in the rowboat first. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to go ashore. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we what time, ashore what time yet. of day is it? It's getting on for evening. What's well? What's the most? Yeah, I'd say it's getting on for evening. But the sun is kind of like setting behind you. Mm. So like, the curse really like illuminated. <gasps> Gold now. Yeah. Get some sweet paintings at this time. <laughs> all right. And here's with a brush in his mouth, just like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Gonna row over to the beach. Ah, the beach. I've missed this beach. It's beautiful. Pure shores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, it's a pretty good beach. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then kind of pull the boats up the beach so it doesn't get washed out with the tide and you know, right. walk up. I guess we'll walk up to the entrance of the castle. Um, as soon as you basically make land, you can hear a horrible like... Mm. Everyone else hear that? Noise. Is that <laughs> Sorry, can we all hear it? Can you hear what I hear? <laughs> <laughs> can you feel it calling? I'm oh, I I'm feel drowning. it calling. <laughs> Calling you, my dear. Kids, <laughs> ask your parents about the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, can oh, we I just want to murder you, Corazon, but you're out to reach. <laughs> can we all hear it? Is it just Corazon who can hear it? You can all hear it. Mm-hmm. This is this is definitely an island-wide bad feel. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, it's because pirates is ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. <laughs> it's two steps forward, one step back. Mm. It started so well. <laughs> um, yeah, you're you're at the curse yeah. hole. Even like even Pania seems sobered by this. He's like staring at it, like so dark. Can't peer within its gloom. Corazon, do you have any spells that might let us? I know you've yeah. all got dark vision, so just look in it with your dark vision. Okay. <laughs> I look in the curse hole, what can I see? No, light a torch. Oh, thank you, my boy. That's much better. I couldn't see mm. on account of being old and not magical. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, they're much the same as ever they were, uh, some steps hewn into the into the mm. rock that kind of go down there. Those very shallow steps that are kind of worn mm. here from um, the passage of many, many feet. Seems fine so far. Mm. Mm. All right, go on then, let's go. Let's get this over with. I can't shake this feeling that there's a sensible thing to do before we go in the hole, but oh, it's like on the tip of my tongue. No, in we go. <laughs> Tom, please, no. <laughs> Stick with it. Come on, what is it? I don't know, I just feel like we're, we've been in these sorts of situations before. We're about to go into like a, a terrifying dungeon. This is why yeah. we need post-dungeon debriefs. Where we do like <laughs> lessons isn't... learned. Yeah. We never learn anything. This isn't a bit where I have thought of something to do and I'm pretending I don't no, know. No, no, no. I, I know, can't I know think what of you mean. anything to do. I just yeah. get a feeling that like there's something we should. Is it something along the lines we were... of like tying tying ourselves to each other or tying a yeah, rope or like or, or leaving a breadcrumb trail? Like to, yeah, like some right. <laughs> so there's something we should be doing that we're not doing. <laughs> Let's do all of that. It's like if we were listening to to a story about some people doing this in a bardic tale, mm. you would say, "Why don't they such and such?" Yes. It's so obvious, but oh, yes. to I can't think of it. So, in it right. will come to us later. It'll come to us later. Too late. late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Let's traverse the, 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 many, the many trap rooms of the curse hole. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So as you sort of you start to move down uh, like the the steps, 
they sort of give way to a winding corridor um, and occasionally you sort of uh, like the floor near you kind of like like the wall kind of is, is a little cave opening you can see down there just like lots of stalagmites and like water that's kind of like hushing away and um, uh, it's all it's all very it's it's all quite spooky basically um, and the first real sort of um, feature of of this curse hole that you you get to is um it's a big old chasm mm. um it is one of those ones where it's just like you're like walking along and suddenly like oh because there is a very narrow shelf that goes here there is um far on the other side um like the, the way forward and um there is basically just a pit you cannot see the bottom of it it is inky black mm. um there used to be a rope bridge mm, here. They did. You remember the rope bridge well, yeah. Corazon. Um, because, well... Did you, you cut it on your way out? Where it, <laughs> where it started. And you can see a couple of planks kind of like drifting over. And far on the other side, you can see a, a sort of a, uh, some slats hanging down mm. from where it broke in the middle the last time anyone yeah, tried to it, cross it, it. Yeah, no, it collapsed while we were on it. Um, we lost several members of the crew. Oh, God. Um, They're probably down there now, huh? Pretty harrowing, yeah. No. Was that before or after they were cursed? Are they just still knocking, down knocking there? about down there? Having, having <sighs> oh, no, they didn't make it. Yeah, they didn't make it to the curse. They're there. Oh, oh. they're the lucky ones. Yeah, they're yeah. dead, dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Lucky, mm. lucky. Yeah. I'm sure they don't feel lucky. No. They don't feel anything. They're dead. Okay, yeah. how do we get across the chasm? <laughs> how wide is the chasm? Like, long. I'm going to say, like, oh. 200 foot across. Oh! It, it big. Scale. And okay. you mentioned that there was a sort of narrow shelf. You're so, sort of on it. Oh, right, so okay. Sort of spread out. Okay, okay. Um, but you do notice that sort of uh, at one end is a length of chain. Mm. If you care to look up above the length of chain, which I do, uh, you'll see that it's basically just like a straight climb. It's probably about 100 foot up. Okay. But then there's... Um, Sort of just a gantry, sort of, that just sort of runs like a lighting it. rig. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of yeah, like a basically like a second sturdy, sturdy bridge. Oh, oh. Hmm. bridge right. up there. Pro- pro- problem sol- solved. B- bridge up there. Now we're going to get up there, up the up the chain. <laughs> that's, no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> we had this conversation last time we were here. We were like, no, what are you talking about? We can't possibly climb that chain. We're not strong enough. Yeah. Let's just go across the rope bridge. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you think. It's a hundred foot that. of chain to mm. climb. Well, well. I I can spider climb it, but that's just me. Perhaps we can make the chain easier to climb for the less acrobatically inclined amongst us mm-hmm. uh, by taking some like arrows mm. uh, and jamming arrows in the links, some of the links, to make a sort of like rudimentary ladder. Rudimentary ladder as we go up. I think I can get up this chain. So, Meryl, if you can give me... Basically you can be like the lead climber. Arrows. Well, I need mm. one arrow so I can just teleport across with my special magical bow. How far can you teleport? How far can you fire on it? I'm liking arrow. this plan more. An arrow <laughs> is... Well, let's see. Does the teleportation... Oh, is, it, is it a short bow or a long bow? I think it's a let's, long... Uh, let's have a look on the figure. I think it's a long bow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not the magical one. That's oh, okay. my... How far does Merylwyn's magic teleportation bow... Oh, both are well within range. I feel like you could, yeah, I feel like you could fire 200 feet with a short bow. Yeah, just aim up loads. That's how you make an arrow go forever. (laughs) If it can escape the Earth's atmosphere. (laughs) (laughs) So you want to do it at night, basically. (laughs) (laughs) Inspiration for remembering the most salient point about Geth. (laughs) So I I can take one person with me, but like, I mean... Take Coruscant. We'll be on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you two got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I grab onto Zolf and oh. I continue. <laughs> um, make, make me that. Uh, make me that check. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is, that is. Well, um, refuse the call to adventure, will you? <laughs> <laughs> that is a six. Okay. All right. I <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so we've not dangerous. really we've not really worked out whether this is a thing where you activate it and you are like locked in to go where this arrow goes, mm. or whether you can choose to blink to where the arrow lands. I think. Let's be kind. <laughs> you, you can yeah, choose. Please. 
So like Dob, you're like, here we go. Obviously, Dob doesn't know about the inner workings of this. Yeah. Bone. So Dob, you see this arrow kind of like, and then it's go like, tong, gong, go, dong, dong. and there's a terrifying moment where you're like, any second now, <laughs> I'm going to be teleported into that chasm. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Teleport me to the chasm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. Is, is it a fair trade-off? Uh, asking if you out like, of the game now that you get to choose not to activate it, choose not, but it uses the charge. But it uses the charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So like, I've I've charged it up, but yeah. I'm not gonna yes, expend it's like, it. But it's just brrr, gone. Arrow yeah. ready to teleport. Would you like to teleport? Like, <laughs> Shutting no, <thank> down. <laughs> that's yeah. what your bow that's sounds fine. like. Oh. Huh. Can I just silently take Mer the rest of Merowyn's arrows <laughs> and start climbing up this chair <laughs> with intense side eye? <laughs> okay, make me. You're quite far down now. But I'm like... This is strength. <laughs> this is strength athletics or dex acrobatics. Dex acrobatics, please. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Because it's it's Let's not easy to well climb to, just, to climb a chain and also insert yeah. arrows and mm. give someone stick. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, right. Ultra, a hundred foot of, of chain. Okay, well that's an eight plus ten, eighteen. Mm. Okay, they were looking for a fifteen. So okay, oh, cool, nice. right. So yeah, so I basically just want to get uh, all the way up the chain and okay. at intervals, mm -hmm. kind of slotting in arrows. Yep. So that I guess it's going to be a sort of rotating, but these I think they can handle it. Uh -huh. Meryl wins. Arrows are elven and sturdy, <laughs> probably. <laughs> light, as, light as a bird's wing. If there is any way to guarantee that I'm going to try and <laughs> put sharks in the water. Are they flexible there? Are they flexy? Why do they need to be flexy? Oh, so they can... Oh, yes. They, okay. they are supple as... Supple as what a, about um, bad? Supple as a river reed. Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. Want, we need them to be sturdy. The way that, the way that I shoot, but strong I want, as a oak. <laughs> I want more solid arrows. I don't want them to be like. Yeah, yeah, okay, but not so, brittle. So Dob is up. Oh, what, no. In what order <laughs> is everyone going now? Um, someone needs to. Just give to... like an experimental tug on this arrow. Just see if it'll support the it'll weight work. of it. It'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're elven arrows. <laughs> Who's going first? I would like to spell cast. Spider climb, cool. Which I didn't realise actually until the spell ends. One cre willing creature you touch gains the ability to move, so I actually can bestow spider climb. So I boot myself on the nose, oh. and now I can spider climb. Great. And I ascend the hundred foot to the gantry. Yeah, you can. Next to Dob. Does it make that noise? <laughs> I, I make that. Noise. It makes much worse noise. <laughs> oh, that is deeply unsettling. <laughs> so All right, yeah, Prince, you are up. Right, um, gantry. <coughs> metal when colors on the deck. I'll yeah. just I'll try to just climb it. Yeah. Um, yeah. How? Okay. Well, with the with the arrows as handholds, um, I am going to say that you have advantage on this check. Okay. It is, uh, either strength athletics or dex acrobatics, depending dex on what acrobatics. you decide. But if you whiff it, it's gonna break some of the arrows and make it harder for the next person. Okay. Mm. Cool. But for a fifteen with advantage, Corazon's probably gonna make it up. Uh, I rolled a 17 there, so... Oh, dang! Yeah, you do it all right. Okay. You sort of... You get butterflies in your stomach, because it's a hundred foot's a long way to yeah. be climbing, um, with sort of arrows that, even if, you know, they're quite sturdy, yeah. will have quite a bit of flex on them. Mm. Um, I climb down past Corazon head first. <laughs> <laughs> you climb over me <laughs> while I'm climbing. No, I'm on the wall. I'm not on oh, the chair. okay, you're on the wall. But just, you know... Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. So, just doing loops and showing off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Marilyn, Egbert, who's next? Um, I want to make sure that Panniers gets across, so I'm going to turn into a giant eagle, pick him up, and carry him over. Oh. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Great. Oh, this is brilliant. Ah! Karazhan, how come we just came here as normal, mundane human men? Hmm, I know. It's a real waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we got rich. Oh, no, wait, we didn't. Mm. Um, yeah, I have since learned magic, though. I've, I can do all the spells now. Oh, hargan me. Grease and all, all of them. All the good ones. Don't accidentally <laughs> cast grease. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very bad to work. <laughs> How did Marilyn die? Greased eagle. <laughs> Over a death pit. Olive oil starts to drip from my fingers. <laughs> as long as it isn't voice activated. Yeah. You said the word oh, grease. God, yeah. Oh stopped. no, yeah, you're up a chain. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to say you made it to the gantry. You've got panniers onto the other side, which means mm -hmm. that uh, advantage is preserved for you, oh, egg Egbert. I'll strength it, please. Okie dokie. That is a 14. Uh oh. Uh -oh. 
Well, that doesn't that doesn't do it at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whiff. I've got inspiration. I could go again. That's can great. I can I go back and get Egbert? He's got inspiration. Let's resolve really this first. Okay. If you if you want to use your inspiration, feel free. Yeah, I think I do. This feels oh, no, He's got advantage, right? Because I didn't. Oh yeah, you still got advantage. That's what I meant. Oh, oh right, I see. Yeah. Sorry. Well, then I've rolled a uh, uh, dirty. 22. Hey. Delightful, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, you're, you're all, you're Not all, a all the way up. Inspiration Baby. preserved. Okay. Hey, Just welcome to clunk, Gantry clunk, Life. Clunk, clunk, clunk. High five, Egbert. Mm. High five, Corazon. Hey. High fives. In There's fairness, cool. it is a, a testament to the quality of, of elven craft that a dragonborn paladin in, like, pretty hench armor with a big old, like, uh, shield on his back and a bunch of munitions can <laughs> can make it up and climb on the arrows and they don't all break. As light as mm-hmm. as light as spider silk. Was I was I retrieving <laughs> arrows as I went? Uh, yeah, if you'd like to. I rolled a twenty-two. It feels like something I could probably manage. I reckon, yeah. Mm, yes. I hand Merwin an armful of arrows. Yeah. And there is a mother's heart. It can be in my beak. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you have made it to the other side. Um, Pan is is kind of standing there, still just like marveling that. You, know, mm. you made it up to the gantry. Mm. Oh, Hammerdal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh him. Uh, oh, okay. Hammerdal, uh, roll the 15. It's hey. pretty sprightly. I'm going to nice. say that before Egbert, yeah. he was like, give me one second, my boy. And he's like, he's, he's swapped his cane for like his adventurer's cane, which right. is like a hook. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> nice. Mm. I'm imagining him in like adventurer's gear. Yeah. In the like pith, yeah. Pith helmet. Yeah. 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 yeah, pith helmet. Yeah. 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 Shorts. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Little, little, yeah. little neckerchief. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Yeah, basically that. Oh, I've never felt more protective of Hamadala. Mm-hmm. Like he's got the, the socks pulled up to his yeah, knees. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he, he must be protected. <laughs> cool. Uh, great. He must be protected on this mission to curse him. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the ultimate protection. The immortality yeah. curse. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So we're up on the. Are we up on the gantry? And we just, yeah, uh, we're just gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. cross the other side. Cross the other side. Yes, yeah, so you can start to cross the other side. Um, simply walk. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty secure. I'd like, like to walk like this anyway. All right, cool. <laughs> um, from beneath again, you sort of just hear like a <laughs> noise coming from the depths. Nobody look down. Just keep your eyes focused. In the end. Don't look into the hole. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I have a little peek over? <laughs> you can have a little peek over. Um, While well, I'm waiting for everyone. Oh yeah, look at the hole, good idea. Oh yeah. Yep. Roll to not go you. instantly mad. <laughs> staring to the abyss and hope that it doesn't stare back at yeah, you. Yeah, this is the thing. The abyss was uh, looking away at the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the abyss had its eyes closed. <laughs> I'm just kind of like looking out just in case anything like comes Ma- up. Yeah, so maybe I- a wisdom okay. perception check, please. Oh, okay. Barn- Barnacle Beef Food is down there. <gasps> okay, that's another rem- name I the remains of. Remain. Is <laughs> and Johnny Tsunami. A 27. <laughs> Damn. So perceptive. Mm-hmm. Um, the abyss averts its eyes. What time you don't want to be perceptive? You, uh, as you stare long enough into the abyss, you can almost see tendrils of the the what was solid inky black darkness sort of like swirling mm. um almost like there's sort of like a, a almost like it's like a fog covering the ground but it is like thick mm. pure black tendrils mm. um and you also um the sort of like wordless kind of just like <laughs> noise mm. um it's almost like you can start to understand it and um you distinctly hear it go. Do you choose to share this information? No, <laughs> until the right moment. <laughs> okay, so I'm, you know, I don't, don't, right don't want to freak you. Sure I don't want to freak him out just yet. No, uh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can want to do it when it's going to have the maximum. <laughs> I want to just really when he can't get out, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need him here. We need Corazon. Okie dokie. Um, you uh, coming across the gantry. You you um, you reach another room. There's actually sort of like a bit of a downward. You you find another corridor that sort of leads downwards, and you suspect is kind of linking up with the um, the doorway, mm. the sort of the cavernous doorway on the other side of the pit, on like you know scrub level. Um, and you move into uh, another room, which is. It's kind of like a, it's like a circular room, 
and it's all still right now, which is great because it looks like this room is absolutely festooned with blades. Mm. Huh. Like there are pillars everywhere and uh, attached to these pillars are enormous kind of like almost scimitar-esque blades, but we're talking like that long mm. and they are like that thick. And <gasps> even though they've been here for God knows how long, they still seem to be incredibly sharp. Like some, um, some spider silk kind of drifts down from the ceiling like a clump of it and you see it just kind of <sighs> Split in two as it hits one of these, um, one of these blades. Um, as I say, they they do not seem to be moving because mm. they appear to be all tangled up in something. What does it look like? Uh, it's an old scarf from uh, Lord Potionton's Academy for Post Little Lords. <laughs> It's got the crest, the school crest is on it. And the school still, colours. You can still make that out, yeah. Oh. The school colours, purple and green. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, this still seems to be taken care of, Panniers. Looks like we did a good job on this one. Uh, that, uh, they make good scarves at that school for twerps, was it? What's it called again? Yeah, something like that, Panniers. Okay, yeah. all right, great. Um, yeah. That's your school, Corazon. Yeah, 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 I know. This is how we got past this room beforehand. Well, not, not before we did incur some casualties. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. How big was your crew before you headed into it? Oh, huge. A couple of hundred <laughs> <in> score. <laughs> it was, you know, enough to man a galleon, you know. Yeah, and you've, when you've got multiple watches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Multiple watches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, we're running, we're running a, I mean, a literal skeleton crew. <laughs> 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 well, well, sort of figurative skeleton crew at the moment. But this is good news for us, because this, yeah. this room is safe. Um, uh, yeah, that scarf's gonna hold. I don't know. Everyone makes a wisdom perception yes. check, please. Fifteen minus one is fourteen. Mm -hmm. All right, not bad. Eighteen. No wait. Oh, uh, ten. Okay. Eight. Okay. Seven of your dice points. Okay. <laughs> um, Egbert, you notice that whatever this machinery, like, is or was, is still active. Like, you can sense it's it's not it's not immediately obvious. You can see a ever so slight sort of vibration on the blades and on the poles. Um, whatever makes these things spin is still straining against this very well-made scarf. Corazon, I nearly called you Percy then. Corazon, <laughs> you are sort of distracted by the, the wealth of memories of that scarf. Like mm. you remember you remember it flapping behind you as you went scrumping for apples, etc. etc. Mm. Um so you know you're you're not um So the life of crime called to you early, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bury myself in it as I stood in front of the headmaster's desk, my father stood beside me, listening to the tales. Are you saying this stuff out loud? <laughs> What? Sorry, Egbert. I, sorry, I was, <laughs> are the blades safe? Can we go into? They the don't. They, it looks like the the machinery is still active, and if that oh. scarf is at all compromised, well, since we're last well. here. On an eighteen, you have noticed that this scarf is looking pretty threadbare. Mm. You know how um, material kind of can almost go brittle mm. after yeah. a fashion. Basically, what we're looking at here is um, a very deadly room that is currently inert, that you might be able to cross without making too much of a disturbance that would uh, tear the scarf asunder and start all the machinery and, um, and, and, and mince you up. Are there like visible, is the visible machinery? Like how is this scarf yeah. attached? So, okay, so you, like, I'd like you to imagine a series of poles that are kind of like segmented, mm -hmm. yep. um, each with blades kind of spinning, but they're kind of dotted around and the scarf is just like. Oh, oh. Long old scarf, <laughs> stretched mm. very thin. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So we just need to make it through this room without touching the scarf. Yeah. Like, have you heard <laughs> ye olde tale of Catherine Zeta-Jones? Yeah. <laughs> In entrapment. <laughs> I'm there. Yep. Uh, okay. Well. Are there I'm any blades worried. on the ceiling? Mm, there. No. There's like a few, but it's it's kind of like <clears throat> you know how in some of those restaurants they have like wonderful mechanical fans. Mm. that just spin and cool down all the diamonds. <laughs> mm. they, they aren't that many. Oh, okay. You can kind of thread your way through them. I would have to spider climb. Hmm? Are there any blades in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite dim in here, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would I'm like not to sure if any of them have been taught how to love. Sorry. I would like to spider climb into a kind of overwatch position. Yep. So I can call out everybody's best paths from over overhead. I love yes. it. Okay, great. Yeah. Everyone can have a, like a D6 overwatch die. So okay. whatever you roll, you can add, you can roll a d6 and add yes. that to your roll as you try and pick your way through. Nice. 
obviously prunes can go along the ceiling yeah. so that's fine but Merylwen can turn into a fly or whatever so <laughs> probably was okay uh, I am functionally immortal so you could just send me through and I'll get minced up and well I'll be you should, you should go through last yeah. because if we Set off the, you know. Oh, we're yes, off the yeah. curse. You won't have time to, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, you don't have use of your hands. <laughs> no, I don't. No, which is fair. Which also, is fair. we should think about. We really don't want to set this off because we have to come back this way. Well, yeah. unless there's one of those levers that just opens like a door that steps you Cor- straight out. Corazon, was there one of those levers? Did you check for? There was another way out. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. Well, <laughs> I, I ignore the menace in there. <laughs> That's oh, a great. problem yeah. later. Yeah. I ignore the grim portent of yeah. this. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, so Panias is okay, but Egbert, Corazon, Hamadal, uh, Hamadal. No, no, Dob's fine. Dob's fine. This well, is good. Why is Dob fine? Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Acrobat. Have you seen the cat suit in, into which he has changed? <laughs> Dob mm. pours himself into a cat suit. <laughs> So much talc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. It's should we not just necessary or wise to be wearing a cat suit? I this look. This is this is bendy. It's acrobatics. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of my whole deal. What yeah. I want. What I'm thinking about is how yeah. can I help Egbert, who is large and spiky. Mm. Oh yes. <laughs> how can I help you, Egbert? Can I guide Egbert through this? Can I hold Egbert's hand and we move? To- can I help Egbert so that he can roll at advantage? A D and D mechanic we never use. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Bardic inspiration. You may <laughs> anything but that. <laughs> I, am, I am willing to basically. I'm imagining you piloting Egbert like a sort of dragon flash mech. So basically, you'll be oh. rolling double duty for both of you. So you'll oh, be okay. doing the rolls, and any oh. harm that befalls you will. Bef- before Egbert as well. All Egbert, right. you'll be rolling a I d20 see. every time Dob rolls, and if you roll a one, that's I bad. See. I see. Okay. I see. Make sense? Yeah. You're gonna like ratatouille him through the maze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bit, bit scarier than I thought, but yeah, it makes sense. You grab onto these little handlebars here. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. This is dex acrobatics all day long. Okay, Egbert, don't worry. Okay, I need I've to roll you. as well, right? I've got you. Yeah, just don't roll a one. I rolled a 12. Oh, that's good. There's one in it. <laughs> <laughs> 16. Okie dokie. What about the N plus 6, right? Yeah, I would. I'm, oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I'm navigating uh, for plus you. A, a D6. Plus, uh, I already D6. rolled that. It was 5. So, oh. uh, yeah. Um, tw- 21. You make it. Yeah. By one point. Oh. Oh. The DC here is 20. All right, good oh. luck, Hamadol. Good luck, Corazon. Oh. You've got this team. I did, uh, 24. Oh ho ho. All right. Describe so it to me. How, how does it look? Because, like, this is. I think it's safe to say you're having probably the most emotionally intense day out of all of them. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sort of very carefully like picking my way, moving sideways and like making sure to stay out of the blade's range wherever possible. Mm-hmm. As I go past the scarf that's straining, I sort of stare <laughs> at it for a while. And then I compose myself and I carry on, carry on moving, staying low as much as possible and end up just sort of crawling towards the end and getting over the sort of the threshold at the other side of the room. Tremendous. How sweaty are you? <laughs> mm, quite, quite. Yeah, okay, quite. cool. Um, right. Prudence, you're just avoiding ceiling fans. So this is a walk in the park for you. And again, yeah. Panius is just watching. you be like, it's amazing. Mm. Just, oh, you're all great. <laughs> um, Panius. We should have been getting in on this magic stuff, Panius. Turns um, out. I mean, you did. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy to pick up, actually. Can't wait for you to grease something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All Not the, this room. <laughs> some of the most amazing spells. Just so easy to learn. Learning I've them. heard tell. You may not have heard about this one, but I've heard a spell where you can call down the very light of the moon. Somebody told me, and I, I didn't believe him. I said, you're lying. That's the easiest one of all, actually. What? No. Yeah. No, yeah. I said. It's impossible. No, and even if it down. is possible, it can <laughs> never be done by more than one. Probably person. you could do it right I, now, Panny, yeah. without any training. Yeah, I'll show yeah. you which muscle to tense. It's this one, but I point to the muscle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um... Merylwen, uh, uh, did you roll to pick your way through the maze yet? I have, yeah, I've not done, I'm still an eagle, I'm still okay. eyeing everything up and I'm kind of looking at the scarf a little bit like, oh. Yeah, basically what I'm what I'm trying to communicate is do something soon because Panius is about to Cast let off an me. involuntary moonbeam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but he can't. <laughs> We're about to find out if you can. show you which muscle to okay. tense Merylwen. Okay, all right, all right. Um, yeah, okay, okay, I'll, 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 I
Huh? Wild shape. Well, I am the, in wild shape. The blades shape, are floor to ceiling. But, but like, it's know. where to get... Oh, I don't want panniers. To, I want to... I'm looking after... I'm sort He's of babysitting. immortal. Hammerdahl is the bigger problem. Panniers yeah. is immortal. We've got to get Hammerdahl through this room. Um, well, you do. Yeah. I, I did one. Yeah. Oh, yeah like, but... is, with Shall the blades, roll for is, that, is, is that, there... Is that, there <laughs> will that force your hand? Is there room for... I'm an e a giant eagle currently. Is there room for me to kind of like... <laughs> through? A giant eagle. A giant eagle. Yeah. Giant I'm going to say the DC will be like 18. So a little easier, but not much easier, so because there's like also crisscrossy yeah. yeah. scarves. This is. Can't you be a fly? Um, yeah, but it's th leaving the other two. I can't. We can't just leave them there. Okay. Oh, what's Harold done? Use your spells and powers. Use your elven magic. He's um, rolled an eleven. So I'm going to say Hammerdahl pretty much like walks in <laughs> and like okay. trips and goes like oh, no. oh and is kind of like teetering on the um, on I the verge. I grab of, him with my beak. I grab his. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Uh, the back of his shirt, yep. and then just pull him back. Uh -huh. um, oh god, what do I do? I to, everyone's left. <laughs> I'm looking um, at like, your like you've got thirty spell cards. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I don't. I didn't. I'm sure this. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one? Spike growth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I mean, oh. what, you could What if you could entangle the? You grow some spikes in the machinery. Yeah. Prudence, like prudence, prudence, prudence. Replace the scarf with spikes. Yeah, prudence, you're on it. Um, I would, right, I turned back into Druid, mm -hmm. Merylwen, and I would like to cast um, Entangle mm -hmm. around the scarf and to strengthen, um, like to come up through the thing and strengthen the hold that the scarf has because I'm really worried about it like cracking. And, nice, yeah. yeah. All right, you do that as an eagle. No, no, no! I've turned oh. back into. Oh, I see. Sorry, I, I can't. That. I can't do that as an eagle. Okay, yes. I was just picturing an eagle being like, bah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, yeah. So you've, yeah, Hammerdahl's kind of like, oh, oh, did I? So yeah, I've picked him back did as I an eagle. I, I turn into Merowen and go. Cool. And yeah. Um, it's not going to hold forever, but like I can say you're able to pick your way through. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Kind of like he's running away from like a, a plane sort of carpet bombing. Mm. Uh, Panny is just like, ah! And kind of like, <laughs> runs his way through and behind him is just a, a moonbeam he didn't know he could do. Like, <laughs> just like freeming its way across the um, across the floor. Everyone's kind of on the other side like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone remembers their first moonbeam. <laughs> <laughs> the, the blades kind of like, I, I'm going to say that he cuts through enough of the vines and the scarf that all the blades are like. Oh, oh. No. Right. Thank and God there's kind of like, way out. Oh wow. Yeah, just as well. Just watching the, the trap that you, in fairness to you, just got past. Um, mm. yeah. Which is great news. Um, one of, one of uh, Percy's school badges just like flutters into shock. Like, mm. The remains of the scarf. Cool. Prefect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, you're, you're feeling pretty good about having made it across that room. That's the good news. The bad news is there's an ominous clanking noise coming from the next. What will it be? We'll f find out. Next time on <laughs> Everyone Goes oh, to the no. Castle. Oh, yay! Oh, clank, 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 clank. Five go mad at the castle. <laughs> <laughs>